In this lecture, I want to talk about loop control. There are two ways to skip a part of your code block and start the next iteration of the loop. First, I go to file, save as, and create another file. Delete all of them, save, and change the title to loop uh, control save there you go the first way is break what is break the break statement which was briefly introduced with the switch statement is used to exit a loop early, breaking out of the enclosing curly brackets. For example, uh, I create a variable where x equals zero. Then use while loop y x less than zero sorry less than uh, 20 uh, that and, and this means uh, is not include 20 until 19 and open curly brackets use if statement if x equal 5 break and then x plus plus after that document dot write x plus work line save and refresh you see uh, when x uh, equal 5 then break it and don't write other number onto numbers until 20. The second way is uh, continue. What is continue? The continue statement tells the interpreter to immediately start the next iteration of the loop and skip the remaining code block. For example, uh, I want to uh, comment uh, this use while x less than ten. then x plus plus and set if uh, x equal 5 uh, continue and document dot write dot write uh, x plus BR. Save. Refresh. There you go. One, two, three, four, and don't write uh, five because I said continue when x equal five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now it's challenge for you. Can you write a program to count from zero to ten, and when? x 
equal 5 continue and jump it then when x equal 8 bracket I repeat again uh, count from 0 to 10 when x equal 5 continue and jump it uh, then when x equal 8 bracket good luck okay i hope you make it as well i want to do it with for loop but no matter if you did it with while loop okay uh, delete uh, all of them uh, where x for x equals zero x uh, less than 10 and x plus plus uh, I want set if x equal 5 will continue uh, I should use the if statement if uh, x equal 5 continue and if uh, x equal 8 break it after that document dot write x plus break line save refresh 0 1 2 3 4 jump from 5 6 7 and if x equal 8 break it okay that is very easy have a good time, good luck. Now we prepare to move involved with JavaScript and we are going to learn about functions. I create a file Eleven. Change the title to JavaScript function and delete all of them. Open in browser. Okay. A JavaScript function is a block of code designed to perform a particular task. A JavaScript function is executed when something calls it. For example, uh, I can use function word set name a javascript function is defined with a function keyword followed by a name and then uh, followed by a parenthesis function my function and parenthesis open curly brackets and alert for example Hello. Function name can contain letters, digits, underscores, and dollar sign. Same rule as variable. Uh, 
and now I want to uh, uh, make an example uh, I create a form in uh, HTML uh, input create a button input type button and then uh, value is say hello save refresh okay if I click on this button nothing happened I create a function function say uh, hello and then uh, open curly brackets document document dot write uh, hello there say refresh if I click on say hello nothing happen again because I set uh, this function to this input I use on click method uh, and say hello this name use this name with parentheses and now save it if I refresh it click on say hello there you go hello there fantastic uh, I can uh, react uh, to button with uh, on click method and use function name in on click method. Have a good time. Good luck. In this lecture, I want to talk about JavaScript on click event. Uh, HTML events are things that happen to HTML elements. When JavaScript is used in HTML pages, JavaScript can react on these events. I go to the file, save as um, to uh, 12.html, save delete all of them okay save open in browser javascript uh, on click event save again refresh I want to set a button when I click on that uh, show me date. Button type uh, button on click and uh, the time is but save create a paragraph set ID to mm, time and uh, in previous lecture uh, you learned uh, how to um, react to this button with function but I don't want to uh, use function now 
I want uh, I can't uh, use JavaScript code in on click event document document dot get element by ID and you should use a single quotation here because uh, you used a uh, double quotation in on click event single quotation set id time dot inner html equals date date is an object that show me the uh, date save and uh, refresh if I click on the time is nothing happened okay I should uh, fix uh, this uh, problem oh yes elements get element uh, if refresh there you go fantastic and uh, use the time and uh, date if I mm, change this to what is uh, what uh, the date is better I think change I did the date, date, save, refresh, there you go. And now it's challenge for you. Can you do this with function? There you go and do it. Good luck. I hope uh, you did it as well. I create a function, 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 uh, display date, and copy this one here then uh, use display display date save refresh fantastic I use my uh, break line and uh, create another button uh, button that uh, the name of button date show date in button I want to uh, show you an example that when you click on a button the code change the content of its own element for example I set um, I set on clerk and use this dot inner HTML equals date uh, open uh, parentheses and save refresh if I click on show the date uh, in button, there you go. 
if I click here and show the date in button use this dot inner HTML this means refer to button it means that show the date in button okay practice and if you have any problem ask me on from good luck okay you learn about onclick uh, event uh, the next step is on change the on change event occurs when the value of an element has been changed for radio buttons and check boxes the on change event occurs when the checked state has been changed i go to file let's click on save as 13 click on save uh, delete uh, all of them save open in browser and change the on click to on change event okay now um, I want to create a field when you type anything for example your name then click out of fill and uh, then when uh, you click out of uh, fill all characters change to uppercase okay uh, for example enter uh, your name your name uh, input uh, type text and then sub id to f name and i go to uh, javascript code create a variable var x before you uh, see this uh, field var x equal document dot get element by id what is the id is the id is f name f name and uh, x x dot value equals x dot value uh, dot to upper case it's the object pay attention to uh, capital words and now set uh, on change uh, to uh, I create a function function uh, my function is better to use function and um, my function say refresh for example I type out of if I click here there you go all words are capital and use uppercase I want to make another example delete you can access all of them in uh, files 
and that I that you can download it in section one to compare your code with uh, uh, my code okay uh, I want to create another example that is uh, create a paragraph select select a new car from the list then select ID equals my select and uh, on change okay create a variable first I use uh, set my option and after that check the JavaScript code close select and option set value Audi Audi Copy Audi BMW Mercedes and Volvo Audi BMW Mercedes and Volvo copy all of them to value okay and create a paragraph set id demo now in javascript use function my function where x equal document dot get element by id uh, my select this id dot value and then document dot get element by id use demo this id i want to show the uh, select option dot inner html equals you selected plus x semicolon refresh this is a uh, these are my option if I click on BMW and uh, nothing happened because I don't set uh, my function in on change use my function save don't forget parentheses save refresh again if i click bmw you selected bmw selected 
Okay. Click another one. Volvo Audi. Fantastic. Please practice and if you have any problem, ask me on forum. Good luck. Okay, in this lecture, I want to talk about two events, unmost over and unmost out. The unmost over event occurs when the mouse pointer is moved onto an element or onto one of its children. I go to file, save as. 14 and delete all of them save open in browser javascript on mouse over and on mouse out I want to create an image when mouse move on image the image will be bigger than before I create a uh, image uh, IMG folder and this is a image I use a uh, image tag on mouse on mouse over and on mouse mouse out set border to zero and src img and clip uh, what is the name uh, the name is clip art clip art what is the it's gif clip art gif and set uh, with thirty two and height thirty two. Save. Okay. Use a uh, function big img x and use this uh, variable x dot style dot height two three hundred pixels x dot style dot width to 300 pixels and use another function normal normal uh, normal img use x again X dot style dot height equals um, two hundred pixels X dot style dot width 
to uh, 200 pixels okay if I uh, on mouse or big IMG function on mouse out normal IMG and use this this means refer to this function and in big uh, image refer to uh, big image uh, function that use this uh, style and uh, same as uh, normal uh, go to uh, normal image function and use these styles okay save refresh if i mouse over there is a problem there and uh, there are two problems first i don't want to use uh, this with an um, height because i want to use uh, normal image size save refresh okay then I should uh, put a size height and width in double quotation in double quotation for big image and for normal image save refresh if I mouse over you see big and uh, if most out normal there you go now I want to uh, create another uh, example make another example that uh, when when I uh, first write some text and if most on text uh, change color to for example red okay br use br tag create h1 tag id demo and uh, use on mouse sorry here on mouse or on mouse out okay mouse Over me H one tag. Use function mouse over don't uh, type I don't want type uh, anything if you type something for example x you should uh, return x for example and and use this uh, variable in your function if you don't use uh, you get an error document dot get element by id demo dot st 
style dot color to red function uh, mouse out document dot get element by id demo dot style dot color to black save okay set uh, on mouse mouse over mouse out don't forget parentheses save refresh there you go fantastic you learned how to uh, change the color and how to change the uh, size of image when the mouse over and mouse out if you have any problems ask me on from good luck In this lecture, I want create page redirection. What is page redirection? You might have encountered a situation where you clicked a URL to reach a page one, but internally you were directed to another page, for example, page two. I create a, uh, another file. 15 and uh, delete all of them not all here and here save open in browser the title to page redirection okay in this example i want create a button when i click on the uh, uh, on that redirect to google page let's do it i create a form and uh, type input type button on click and set value redirect me save ok if I click nothing happen create a function redirect and uh, type window dot location equals http 3w google dot com and in on click redirect function save refresh if I click on redirect me I connect to internet and check again and click on redirect me and go to google.com 
I want to make another page redirection. In this example, uh, I set a time, for example, five seconds. And after five seconds, the page redirects to Google page automatically. And uh, document dot write document dot write uh, you will direct to main page in five seconds and after that set time out redirect direct function use the redirect function and uh, I want set uh, five seconds and you should type uh, in uh, milliseconds and five thousand save you will be direct in five seconds there you go fantastic that's it practice and feel free to ask me any question Good luck. Now we moved from page redirect and I want to talk about dial box in this lecture. JavaScript supports three important types of dial box. I go to file again save as um, 16 and delete all of them save open in browser use the we are dial box box says okay the first dial box is alert box and alert box uh, is mostly used to give a warning uh, message to the users I create a form and input type button on click and set value click me Save. Okay. Set function. Warm. Alert. This is warning message. Message okay and document dot uh, write and fix uh, your warning message save refresh if I click on this button nothing happen because I should set this function to on click event warm 
save again refresh and click again there you go this is warning message okay the second dial box is confirmation dial box a confirmation dial box is mostly used to take users consent on any option it displays a dial box with two buttons OK and cancel I create a function function get uh, confirmation and uh, then uh, var conf equals confirm and uh, do you want uh, to continue if conf is true it means that okay mm, mm, type document dot write um, user want to continue then return return true else if user click on cancel document dot write user does not uh, want to continue and return false create another button that is um, br tag get uh, confirmation and use confirmation refresh if I click on confirmation do you want to continue OK and uh, there is a problem because if I click on OK don't write user want to continue OK what is the problem if conf true oh sorry true say and now if I click on confirmation and click on OK user want to continue if I click on cancel user doesn't want to continue if I use alert is better OK the last dial box is prompt box the prompt dial box uh, is very useful when you want to pop up a text box to get user input I I create another function get value and where and get while equals prompt 
enter your enter your name and then your your name here then document dot write you have entered get y okay and uh, copy this one and click mm, get val meto uh, function prompt prompt box save refresh if i click prompt box nothing happen um get value sorry get value save refresh if i click on prompt box your name is here otf okay you have enter otf fantastic uh, you learn about three uh, dial boxes alert box confirmation and prompt box please practice and if you have any questions ask me on from good luck many times you would like to place a button on your web page to print the content of the web page we are an actual printer we can do it with javascript set 17 and delete all of them page printing save open in browser okay i create a form that is very easy with one line code form and type input type button on click window dot print and then set value print this page save refresh if i click on print this page go to print uh, page and uh, you can print this page just this uh, it's very easy good luck In this lecture, we work on a copy text project. The preview of this project is here. If I uh, type, 
for example my name Atef and click copy text copy here and this is Java Java script course copy and copy into this field please pause the video if you can do it go for it good luck okay i wish you did it otherwise don't worry i am going to show you step by step I create a file save as eighteen and delete. Open in browser. Copy text project. Okay. First, create uh, two fields. Input uh, type text and uh, color style color light light yellow for example background color to black and set id field 1 then set value to good morning save okay copy this one change id to field 2 save okay and set a button style uh, background color light green and Click to copy text. Okay. First, I should uh, create a function for copy function. Copy. Document dot get element by id field 2 dot value equals document dot get element by id Field one dot value. In programming, always the value in right side can insert uh, its value to the left side. Then you should field one in right side and uh, 
set field 2 on left side. This is field 1 and field 2. I want to copy this text to this um, to this box and I should uh, uh, use a uh, field 1 in right side because in programming always the value on right side can insert its value to left side uh, I want to uh, delete this value okay set on click for copy button copy function save refresh if i click on this button there you go if i click on hi i am out of there you go fantastic it's very easy and the important thing is here i repeat again in programming always the value on in right side can insert its value to left side then we set field one at uh, right side and field two at uh, left side if you have any problems ask me on from good luck This lecture we work on odd or even program project. The preview of uh, this uh, project is here. If I uh, type two and click OK, alert me two is even number. And if I click uh, five alert me 5 is odd number if i click character for example a b c click ok please enter correct number ok please pause the video if you can do it go for it good luck I wish you did it, uh, but uh, don't worry, I am going to show you step by step. I create another file to nineteen. Save and open in browser the title is odd or even number project okay first I create a variable where and prompt um, please enter a number to find odd or even number then type your number here where n 
equals parts int n. What is parts int? Convert uh, all things that you type convert to a uh, number. That is parse int. Use parse int. Save, refresh. Okay. If if is Nan N What is Nan? It it means that uh, uh, this is a uh, object to determine uh, whether a value is an illegal number, not a number. And if you, for example, if you type character sh show error, this is not a number. And you should use is none uh, object. And alert, please enter correct number. Else, if n equals zero, zero uh, contain um, uh, even number and alert the number is zero and it contains even number of oh, okay check it cancel refresh okay there's a problem I should double quotation save refresh okay if i type abc click ok please enter correct number if i type zero the number is the right it contains even number okay fantastic else if n percent 2 equals 0 it's a modular operator and returns the division rem uh, remainder if uh, equals uh, n modular 2 equals 0 means alert n plus is even number else if it it is not a zero alert n plus is odd number save refresh I said uh, six six is even number set five five is odd number I said uh, 21 
21 is odd number. Okay, fantastic. And please pay attention to none object. And if you type uh, character, show you please enter correct number. And uh, I convert all things that you enter to uh, um, numbers with parse int. Then, and this is a uh, uh, the person uh, sign uh, means a uh, modular in programming language if n modular to equal zero uh, it means that uh, even number and uh, if it is not zero uh, it means that it is odd number and the modular operator returns the division reminder and again if it is not zero uh, is odd and if it is zero is uh, even please practice uh, if you have any questions ask me on forum good luck